Good morning dear children welcome back today we are going to start a new term that is term 3 come children let us learn the first lesson in social science forts and palaces part 1 before going into today's session let us see what are we going to discuss in this unit my dears we are going to know about the various forts in tamil nadu forts f o r t s forts then describe the palaces in tamil nadu explain the history of forts and palaces in tamil nadu so we will discuss about the various forts various palaces and what is the history of the forts and palaces dear children you know that tamil nadu has been ruled by several empires especially by the chera chola pandya and pallava rulers we have already learned this chera chola pandya and pallava cholas pandyas and nayakars constructed magnificent forts and palaces in tamil nadu learn the word magnificent m a g n i f i c e n t magnificent magnificent is extremely beautiful elaborate very good structures so cholas pandyas and nayakars had constructed beautiful forts and palaces in tamil nadu all have constructed and these are the prominent ones not only chera chola pandyas but the dutch the british and the french entered our country and they built forts to protect their territories you know india was ruled by the british mainly isn't it so they also built the forts what for they built the forts to protect their territory to guard their territory they also started building forts children what is a fort f o r t fort fort is a fortified building or a strategic position that is it is a place that is made strong and secure enough to be defended during a war that is when there is a war the place should be defended the place should be protected for that only they are building the fort usually a fort would provide shelter to the king and his army against the enemies and check the invaders the people who are coming to attack they will it will check it will prevent the attackers from advancing into the kingdom the architectural monuments are now preserved in the form of palaces forts and other historical sites in tamil nadu today only a few palaces and forts are in good condition the which one the kings had built only few of them are in good condition they are the prime attraction for tourists in tamil nadu these structures were built by kings are not preserved nowadays they are uh, not in good condition only few are there in good condition and our government is trying to preserve them and uh, the importance is they are uh, attract tourists from different parts of the world people come to tamil nadu our place to see the forts which were built now let us learn about the vellur fort v e l l o r e vellur fort Dear children, Vellore Fort is a 16th century fort situated in Vellore, Tamil Nadu. Where is it situated in Vellore? When it was built in the 16th century. It was built by the kings of Vijayanagara. Who built it? The kings of Vijayanagara Empire built the Vellore Fort in the 16th century. Among the forts in Tamil Nadu, Vellore Fort is considered to be one of the most invincible fort. Most invincible, invincible, I N V I N C I B L E, invincible. Invincible is that which cannot be conquered, which cannot be penetrated, which cannot be, which we cannot go into. That is the meaning of invincible. so 
that is considered the Vellur fort which was built in the 16th century by the kings of the Vijayanagara is considered as one of the most invincible forts in Tamil Nadu. The fort which cannot be conquered that is the meaning of invincible. It is surrounded by a deep and wide moat. M-O-A-T moat is a deep and a wide trench around the rampart of a fortified place or a castle. You can see children in the pictures around the fort you can find deep waters isn't it there is a there are trench like thing where you can it where it is filled with water and the water of this moat was home to thousands of crocodiles there were crocodiles living in that the trench is there there it is filled with water and you have crocodiles there it was feared by many raiders of the fort raiders are people who come to attack and this because of this crocodile the presence of crocodile people feared feared to come inside the fort they want they wanted to attack but they were afraid of the crocodiles that is why it is considered as one of the most invincible forts in tamil nadu dear children the Vellur fort is a good example of military architecture that is in the time of defense in the time of attack from a enemy country what has to be done this fort is a good example for that what have what a king has to take the precaution for how it can he can defend the country military m i l i t a r y military architecture a r c h i t e c t u r e military architecture very best example it is studded with double fortification it is having double fortification that is two layer protection two set of protection dear children in 1799 Tipu Sultan's family was detained here by the British because of its fortification. Tipu Sultan's family was held hostage in this fort by the British people. Not only that, the first rebellion, rebellion is protest against the British broke out at the Velour Fort in 1806. So two important events. First one is in 1799 Tipu Sultan's family was detained here by the British. The first rebellion against the British broke out here in 1806. That is in the Velour Fort. Dear children, what are the things of importance that are found inside the Velour Fort? Yes, you can find a well-known temple called as the Jalakanteshwarar Temple. Jalakanteshwarar, J-A-L-A-K-A-N-T-E-S-W-A-R-A-R, Jalakanteshwarar Temple, a church, a mosque, a museum and several government offices. You can find Jalakanteshwarar Temple, a church, a mosque, a museum and a number of government offices. Apart from that, you can find five important mahals. There are five important mahals. M-A-H-A-L-S. Mahals. Dear children, it is a palace or a big house where the a group of people, special people will be living. That is called as a Mahal. You have heard of the Taj Mahal. Uh, yes, that is right. So, in Vellur Fort also you have five important Mahals. They are Haider Mahal, Tipu Mahal, Begum Mahal, Kandi Mahal and Badusha Mahal. Haider, H-Y-D-E-R, Haider Mahal, Tipu, T-I-P-P-U, Tipu, Mahal, Begum, B-E-G-A-M, Begum, Candy, C-A-N-D-Y, Candy and Badusha, B-A-D-H-U-S-H-A, Badusha. Badusha is the meaning is king. You know about the sweet Badusha, isn't it, which we eat. Now it is time for us to learn about the Dindigal Fort. D-I-N-D-I-G-U-L Dears, Dindigal Fort is a 17th century hill fort situated in Dindigal, Tamil Nadu. 
it is a hilt fort that is it is situated on the hill hence it is called as malekote in the 18th century the fort was passed on to the kingdom of mysore it was passed to the kingdom of mysore dear children do you know who built the dimigal fort yes it was built by the nayakars of madurai n a y a k k a r s nayakars of madurai in order to defend their region from the invading mysore army they wanted to protect their kingdom from the invading invasion of the mysore army so they had built the fort to protect their country presently the fort is maintained by the archaeological survey of india who is maintaining the fort the archaeological survey of india the fort was cemented with double walls to withstand heavy artillery dear children artillery a r t i l l e r y artillery is a heavy military weapons to launch far beyond the range and power of infantry firearms they wanted to breach the defensive walls and fortifications during an attack so in order to withstand the heavy uh, machines or heavy things for attack it was cemented with double walls you can find the beautiful pictures of the dindigal fort built on a hill activity time dear children name the following pictures you have got some pictures there there is a picture of a king a queen prince and a princess you have to write this see the spellings and write it correctly in your textbook dears the fort st george is the first fort built by the british in india which is the first fort built by the british it is a st george fort Fort St George is located in our capital city Chennai it is situated in Chennai the state secretariat is functioning inside the fort secretariat s e c r e t a r i a t secretariat is a complex of departments it is a building of departments uh, which is headed by ministers the administrative heads are the secretaries to the government that is the various departments of the state government are run in the st george fort at present let us know about some more forts the one first one is the tirumayam fort tirumayam t h i r u m a y a m tirumayam fort is famous for its artistic work and architectural brilliance the fort tirumayam fort is famous for its work architecture work and the brilliance of architecture the speciality of their architecture it is located in pudukottai where is the tirumayam fort located in pudukottai p u d u k o t t a i pudukottai in tamil nadu tirumayam fort is popular for its large rock inscriptions it is known for its large rock inscriptions it has got famous artistic work and archaeological buildings and is also famous for the rock inscriptions it has got another name it is also known as umayan kote o o m a y a n umayan k o t t a i kote umayan kote the next one is sadras fort s a d r a s sadras sadras fort the magnificent sadras fort was built for commercial purpose by the dutch who built the sadras fort it was built by the dutch and it is located in kanjipuram in kanjipuram you can find the sadras fort dear children in chennai you can find the st george fort built by the british the tirumayam fort is built in the pudukote district of tamil nadu also known as the umayan kote and the sadras fort was built by the dutch at kanjipuram for commercial purpose for doing their business work they built the fort it is time to wind up today's session dear children let us have a recap 
In this session, we discussed about the Vellur Fort and the Dindugal Fort. Vellur Fort, dear, dear children, is a 16th century fort at Vellur built by the kings of Vijayanagara. It is considered as the most invincible fort built in Tamil Nadu because it is surrounded by deep and wide moat filled with crocodiles. The fort houses a uh, Jalakanteshwara temple, mosque, church, various mahals. We also learnt about the Dindugal Fort built in the 17th century. It was built by the Naikars of Madurai but in the 18th century it was handed over to the Mysore kingdoms. Now it is worksheet time, worksheet number 1, fill in the blanks. Dash Fort was built by the kings of Vijayanagar. Dash Fort was built by the kings of Vijayanagar. Roman number 2, true or false. Tamil Nadu has been ruled by many rulers, especially by the Chera, Chola, Pandya and Pallava rulers. True or false, you should write. Question number two. Vellur Fort has five Mahals. Vellur Fort has five Mahals. Question number three. Dindigal Fort was built by the Nayakars of Madurai. Dindigal Fort was built by the Nayakars of Madurai. Roman number 3. Answer in detail. Describe the structure of Vellore Fort. Describe the structure of Vellore Fort. Question number 2. Write about Dindigal Fort. Write about Dindigal Fort. Worksheet. You have to copy the questions in your rough note. Learn the answers. Write it as home test. That's all for today's session my dear children. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our YouTube channel youtube.com slash guide. Thank you.